The local grocery store opens at nine. Its parking lot has six rows. Each row can fit seven cars. Each car has four wheels. How many cars can the parking lot fit? And I encourage you to pause the video and think about this yourself. Try to figure it out on your own. So let's reread this. The local grocery store opens up at nine. Well, that doesn't really matter if we're thinking about how many cars can the parking lot fit. So we don't really have to care about that. We also don't have to care about how many wheels each car has. They're not asking us how many wheels can fit in the parking lot, so we can ignore that. What we really care about is how many rows we have and how many cars can fit in each row. So what we have is we have six rows. So we have six rows, and each row can fit seven cars. So we're going to have six groups six groups of seven. Or another way of thinking about it, we're going to have six times seven cars can fit in the parking lot. Well, what's this going to be equal to? Well, this is literally six sevens added up. So this is the same thing as one, two, three, four, five, six. That last seven looks strange. Six. And we're going to add these up. So we're going to add these up. So seven plus seven is 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. So six times seven is equal to, is equal to 42. So 42 cars can fit in the parking lot. Don't believe me? I made a little diagram here. We have six rows. So this is the first row, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Each row can fit seven cars. You see it here, one, let me make that a little brighter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many cars are there? Well, you have seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42 total cars. Seven or six, six rows of seven.